Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Thea. I'm so I'm so excited you're here with me today. So <clears throat> we are gonna do Pilates for February. I've been doing at the end of every month, I've been doing a Pilates workout for that month. So we're gonna go back through February. It's a shorter month. Um, there's only 20 days in February, that's so weird. So let's, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna have you bring one foot in front, <clears throat> one foot to this side. Let's bring that forearm down and let's reach it over. Bring it on, reach it over. So I've been getting a lot of people coming to my stuff that have never done Pilates before, and I think it's really exciting. The Pilates is more popular now. I've got these like crazy braids today. <laughs> Just poke it up. <laughs> do you ever do that thing where you're like frustrated with your hair, so you just braid it? That's what I do. I'm like, I need to wash my hair. I hate my hair right now. I'm gonna braid it. <laughs> we're gonna reach it over. Gorgeous. All right, we're gonna come on up. So I want you to think about bringing that. I want you to think about pulling that navel up and in, sitting up really tall. We're gonna take this back leg and I'm gonna have you lift it up. Now, if that's too much for you, come on to this forearm right here. So we're stacking this elbow right on top, or that shoulder right on top of this elbow, and we're gonna lift this leg up towards the ceiling. So keeping that chest nice and lifted, coming back to your breath, let's breathe. You got it. Whew, doing so good. Gorgeous. All right, so we're gonna keep that bend in your knee. And what I'm gonna have you do, you can be up here for this one too if you want a little bit more challenging. We're gonna take this leg and I'm gonna have you sweep it forward, tap in front, let's sweep it back. Nice. Have you been finding it hard to motivate yourself to work out? Like, I'm so glad you're here with me right now working out. I'm so proud of you. So I feel that it's been really hard to motivate my clients and motivate other people to work out. So I wanna, I wanna change the script on that. I want to be bringing into being thankful for our bodies, being you know lucky that we can move, lucky that we can work out. And I'm working on a March series for you guys. It's all about you know being lucky and feeling lucky and being grateful because you know we spend so much time like I don't know running from this thing to that thing, being stressed about this thing, whatever the next thing is. So really, whoo, feeling it. You can always come down onto this forearm. But yeah, I really want to focus in on like how lucky we are to get to move our bodies. So let's hold this leg here. Let's all come down onto those forearms so that shoulders are right on top of that elbow. And I want you to just straighten that leg and bend it. So straighten it out and bend it. Or just keeping that chest lifted. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Woo, let's do six more, you're so strong. So this is all great stuff for those legs to strengthen up those legs, you know, to really build the muscle and the connection between all those bones and tendons, yeah. Gorgeous, let's grab this leg, let's hold it here. Oh, that's a stretch I need. I just went on this really long hike with my friends. It wasn't even that long, it was just really steep. Well, like four miles, it wasn't that long, but whew, I'm tired. All right, we're gonna come on up, we're gonna take this back leg, and I want you to hug it in. So press both your hips down, sit up really tall. If it's too much, you can take this bottom leg and straighten it out. I like to have it in, I feel like it makes it a little bit more challenging. So press those hips down, Sit it up really tall and just like appreciate your glute. Oh, did you do my glute work? My love your booty last week. Oh, that was a good one, right? Oh my, my, my. All right, we're gonna switch sides. So let's bring that other foot in front, other foot to the side. We're gonna start with opening up that spine a little, trying to warm up those hips a little. We're gonna reach over. 
sometimes your hips are like, ooh, I'm tight today. So depending on how you're feeling, reach it over. Ooh. You can't see, but there's two little hearts on my sweater for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is so amazing. So I proposed to my boyfriend on Valentine's Day. I was really, really nervous about it, but he said, <laughs> yeah. It was like such a great response. I wasn't sure if he'd say yes. Like we talked about it before and like he had been kind of talking about wanting to do it, but like, I don't know. I don't know, I, I think, you know, men kind of feel that pressure and it's like, I like that things are like different now and I like that, I mean different now in the sense that like, you know, ask for what you want and like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring that forearm down, right up, stack the shoulders. Like why is it always on the men to be romantic? Why shouldn't women be romantic too? So we're gonna take this leg here and lift it up. Now if you did on the other side, you can be right here lifting it up or you can come down onto that forearm. So we're just sending that leg straight up to the ceiling that core is nice and engaged, feeling really strong here. Whew. Yeah, I don't know. Um, he's my person. I think I'm his person. And I feel like he has a lot of strengths that I don't have. And really, as a unit, we're just, it feels so much more safe and secure to like always have a friend, always have an ally, always have a mentor, always have a student, you know, and we're always teaching and learning from each other, so I'm excited. I didn't think past the proposal, like, we were like, oh, have you guys set a date yet? And I'm like, oh, God, I have to do that, but anyway. <laughs> so you can be right here for this next one. You can be up here, really strong core, and we're going to bring this leg around, and we're going to tap. Maybe that's too much, we're all going to be on that forearm and tap it forward. Ooh, my hips are tight today. How do you guys feel? Can you believe how quickly February went by? Oh my gosh, I didn't even, I did this love your body challenge and like I have a bunch of videos I still need to edit and upload and I just haven't yet. It's like I can film all these videos but then like editing them, you know what I mean? Oops, whoops a daisy. But I'm getting better at YouTube guys, I'm getting better. I'm really thankful that you're here. You're working on your body with me. So try not to sink into that shoulder, try not to be like, ooh, no, 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 keep it lifted, keep that core strong. Yes. Oh, you feeling it? I'm feeling it, let me tell you. All right, so we're gonna bring this leg out here and we're gonna straighten it and bend it. So chest lifted, feeling really strong. Oh, isn't that good? My right quad is like, who are you? Why are you like this? This is like a, you know, like a bicep curl, but this is a hamstring curl. Then hamstring, yeah, so good for you. Had a lot of requests for some flexibility yoga classes, so that's what's coming next, my friends. Whoo! Oh my gosh, does that feel good? Sit it up really tall. Find that glute stretch, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Whew. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Does it feel good? Okay, so I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna open up our feet, nice and wide here. Maybe hands behind your thighs, give me a little bit more support. We're gonna see curve that spine back. I want you to sit it up really tall. Maybe bring those arms out in front of you. C curve that spine back. Let's reach it forward. <clears throat> Gorgeous. C curve that spine back. Let's reach it forward. You're incredible. Whoo! Oh, you got it. 
feeling really good. Really C curve, and that's why I'm keeping that chest open, that chest lifted. Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna have you bring those legs out nice and long in front of you. Let's point those toes, get strong in those legs. C curve, that's fine. Let's come all the way down. Beautiful, let's come all the way up. Reach for that ceiling. C curve, that's fine. Let's come down. Ooh, now if this is too much for you, maybe you're coming up a little bit. This is a great place to be, is right here. Try to keep it out of your neck, okay? Keep those toes strong in those legs. Hold that needle in. <laughs> Maybe reach for the ceiling. Gorgeous. So thinking about trying keto, trying to be in keto. Be really weird. But bring it on. Oh, if you touch your toes. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's least see curve that time. Let's come. All the way down onto that mat. I'm gonna have you bring your hands down by your side. Let's bend through those knees. So we're gonna tuck that pelvic floor on, tuck that pelvic floor. So we're gonna take that pelvis, kegel in, pull that navel in, let it all go relax. Kegel it up, tuck it, pull it in. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the best ways that you can help your lower back and create that mind-body connection. It feels a little silly the first couple times you do it, but I promise the more that you do it, the more you'll feel it, maybe it's just a little motion for you, but maybe it's a lot. You'll start to feel it more and more. So let's hold that tuck, pull that needle in. We're gonna lift a leg up into the air. Hands are down by your side. Press that lower back into the mat. We're gonna lower that leg to hover, lift it back up. So still pressing that lower back into the mat, pulling that needle in, nice and tight. Now if you'd like to make it a little bit harder, you can bring that other leg up and hold it while we're lifting that leg. So give me six, pull that navel in, five, four, you got it, three, two, last, one, let's switch it, point that toe, flex that heel, bring it down, oh you got it. Pull that navel in, don't let that lower back tuck. You can always bring this foot back down if you need to. Keeping that lower back pressed into the mat. You got it. Whew. I don't know what you're doing with my feet here. Give me six, five. You got it. Four. Pull that navel in. Three, two, one. Let's bring both legs up towards the ceiling. Pull that navel in. Pull that navel in. Let's flex those feet. Those toes. This is one of the things that you can work on if you're working on trying to get flexibility, if you're trying to get strength in those legs, is just holding those legs up overhead. You got this. Alright, let's bring those feet onto the mat. Let's open them up nice and wide. Let's windshield wipe for those knees back and forth. Maybe bring your arms up overhead. Put that belly rise up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Check it on your body. Maybe hold it on one side. Oh, need that stretch. Great for your knees, great for your lower back. Ooh, how are we feeling today? You know, starting your morning off with Pilates is so good for your bones, it's good for your soul. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. Please like, comment what kind of videos you'd like to see and subscribe. I've had some requests for some more flexibility and I've had some requests for more strength stuff with weight. So I will be doing some more of those videos for you guys. And I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and I'll talk to you guys soon.